digging up trouble. We find out how the UK's referendum could have an impact on Australia's economy. And US Central Bank Chief Janet Yellen weighs in on the immediate consequences should the UK vote to leave the European Union. Hello, welcome to Asia Business Report. I'm Sharon Jeet Leo. Now, one country that could definitely be affected by a UK withdrawal from the EU is Australia. The trade relationship is worth 15.7 billion US dollars, and the UK is the second largest source of total and direct foreign investment into Australia. And some of Australia's largest mining companies even have a UK stock listing too. So what are Australian businesses expecting from this vote on Thursday? We're joined now by Jennifer Westercott from the uh, Business Council of Australia. She's in our Sydney studio. Welcome to the programme. So tell us uh, just Thank how will Australia's much. economy be impacted if the UK votes in favour of leaving the European Union? Well, obviously, this is a matter for the British people, but, but as you've just gone through those very important statistics about the trade relationship between uh, Britain and Australia, and of course this whole issue of um, the interconnectedness of the global economy. So many Australian businesses are very, very anxious about how this vote will go because uh, we don't need more volatility in global growth. We've got fragile growth. We need Europe, we need the UK, we need North America, all to be growing so that uh, this very interconnected global economy, Australian businesses can benefit. Now you say it's uh, not great for Australian businesses, but we've just heard from uh, Australia's former Prime Minister, John Howard, in fact, has been quoted saying he's in favour of the UK leaving, saying the EU is a fundamentally flawed concept, a project that has failed to live up to expectations. So strong words from him. Uh, do most Australians agree with him? Well, I think most Australian businesses would not agree with that. And uh, I think most Australian people would be very, very concerned about anything that's, uh, that's going to uh, add to global volatility, that's going to slow growth down, because they know that, that Australia is now a very, very connected economy and that we rely on other parts of the world for our, 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 our foreign capital. We rely on markets for our, to, to export our goods and services. Look, I think there's two very important things to say about this. There's this kind of philosophical issue about has the EU lived up to expectations? Right. Is it everything people hoped for? Versus the price and cost uh, to Britain and then the kind of flow-on effects to the rest of the, the world economy mm -hmm. from leaving. And I think really that's the balancing act, isn't it? That, you know, th there are, you know, frustrations with the model, but do they warrant the kind of economic short-term and long-term consequences of exiting? Right. Uh, briefly, though, uh, you talked about the volatility on the markets. Briefly, how do you see the markets reacting after this vote? Well, we don't, we, obviously, we, do, we don't know what the vote's going to be, but we certainly saw last week a correction in the stock market uh, on the back of uh, some opinion polls that, that, that showed uh, that, you know, that the people were leaning towards uh, an exit. Now, obviously, I, I, the polls have kind of uh, changed a little bit since then. Right. So I think you can expect you know, some stock market volatility, not just here in Australia, but across the world. All right. Thank you so much for that. Jennifer Westercott there from the uh, Business Council of Australia.